guys, welcome back to the Family Homestead. Today it is Welcome back, thank <laughs> And today um, we will be working on our crabs. Yes. Yeah. So um, today we are going to clean out our crab tank. Um, I will leave a link up above for the video that we did showing how we kind yeah. of created our crab tank for the first time. We have hermit crabs. Um, and then in that video, we kind of introduced you to them a little bit. This is a so with the glass lid that has been on it, and then this like mesh lid that we have here, it has created an amazing, yeah, yeah. an amazing environment uh, with the seed heat mat underneath of this glass box, uh, glass tank, and it's been great for the crabs. They've been very active, moved around switching shells like they've it's just oh, been a really good thing um but because it's had a lot of humidity and moisture it has started growing a little bit of fuzz on some of the fruit and things that um we've put in here for them to eat so that is basically the main reason why i want to clean out this tank uh hermit crabs are really clean animals and so like the tank itself isn't dirty from the crabs it's like just from the food and things so we're gonna go ahead and take everything out, take the crabs out, um, and just give the tank a really good clean and then uh, rebuild their home. You ready? Yep, yeah, okay. So this is just like a Pyrex um, yep, container Pyrex. and it's got a little bit, not quite a cup of unchlorinated water in here and we're gonna set the crabs in here while we clean out their tank. I ended up removing the hammock that we put in here just because it was so moist it started growing a little bit of fuzz and the kids have been real excited so they've already started like moving things around in here um but since i took out that hammock the crabs just like live in this little mason jar and then also they've crawled all over the top and so um some of the sand is shifted so we're just going to clean all this out and rebuild them a new home yes all right ellie can you take out your crabs yes. Crab, isn't it, Easton? I got pick up. Yeah, Ellie's gonna pick up her crab. So Easton's crab went ahead and uh, rehomed himself, Here, and this okay. shell here, and Ellie's crab is still hanging out in its original shell. Now he has been trying on different shells, but just hasn't found one that he likes. It's a girl. Oh, it's a girl. Well, she hasn't found any shells that she likes yet. So we are gonna be removing the painted shells since they are toxic uh, paint and um, get ready, okay. getting rid of those and getting putting in some new shells for them. So if you watched Ellie's breakfast video that she made the other day, we talked about going to the lake um, and we had lunch at the lake and at the lake uh, campsite that we made, all these little shells were sitting, these shells, this is their food bowl, but all these little shells were sitting up underneath uh, the picnic tables and they are roughly like, good good size um some of them are a little bit smaller and this one is i think the biggest out of all of them uh but they were all empty and so we brought them home because they just look perfect um and who can say no to free shells so we are going to put them in this pot once it gets boiling and try to sanitize them really really well um, i have double checked to make sure that there is nothing in these shells living in these shells they're just kind of dirty and filled with sand all the other objects like this their bowls just all of the things um just to make sure that they have a new clean environment so in the last video i shared um about the eco earth that we bought uh and i ended up not using the whole block of eco earth and so we have a greenhouse and it stays relatively hot in here now that it is summertime. So I took two of these plant trays and I just laid it all out um, on a thin, just in a thin layer and let it all dry back out. That way I could reuse it and not waste it and that it wouldn't mold or anything. So it is all dry and soft. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add some water to it to help kind of hydrate it and give it a good, um, wet moist consistency and then we're going to add in our play sand so the kids are pulling all of the um, substrate out of the tank 
and throwing it away. Yeah. And while they do that, we're gonna take our little accessories and things and plop them in to be boiled for a little bit. So these are the shells that we got from the lake. I'm gonna let them um, boil longer than anything else, just to make sure they're good and clean. This is a smaller shell hole, uh, but Ellie's little crab likes to try it on. So I don't know if it will want to use it or if it's just saying no to it. We'll use this as maybe a food bowl. So all the things that are in here have been boiling for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them off and set them on this towel over here. And I have like let I have stirred it a couple of times. Also, be careful if you um, have like turbo shells like this. When you pull them out of the water, make sure that you uh, don't get yourself with the water that is sitting inside of them because it is hot. going to take this little plant that they had and I'm going to drop it in. Again, be careful because it is super hot water. Just kind of give it a little bit of a sanitation too. And then once this cools off, I'm going to dip the bottom. And then I'm going to drop in this last little bowl. So now I'm just going to take some paper towels and try and wipe some of their cage out. So Ellie, what have we done to this tank? Uh, we have cleaned it out. We've got it all cleaned out. So now we got to uh, re-add their substrate. Hey bud, where are you going? Uh, You're going to come sit over here? Okay. Bye, crab. So our crabs are still hanging out in this little container. Right here. Uh, it's kind of just like giving them a bath. Uh, they don't need to stay wet. Uh, they just need to have some moisture. Um, but in looking, yeah, their eyes. Their eyes. But in looking at this water, like I can see stuff floating in it um, that's come off their legs and their bodies and probably out of their shells as well. Um, I'll zoom in here in a little bit and kind of give you a closer up. Uh, but they are just hanging out in here still. We've got. All the little accessories and things all sanitized and ready to go back in. Now we just gotta add our substrate. So when you're building your substrate, you wanna make sure that you have a good depth. That way your crabs can bury themselves if they need to. Keep going. Come on. I like to say it will last forever. It's funny. So here's what our tank looks like so far with how deep our substrate is. We're going to put this mason jar back in here because they seem to really, really, really enjoy that. You stick it in there? Yep. Yeah. Can I do that? It's kind of like a little cave. You throw a little bit of sand on it and then can you cover up the top? Cover up the top. Keep that down. Get the top. Get a top. This side. Okay, can you guys each put a shell in here? Okay. So we're gonna get our turbo shells now and plop them in there. Yes. Where do you think they'd like? Uh, I would I'm gonna put the big one right here. I know where uh, they're gonna like this one. They'll probably like it right, right like there. Uh, oh, you think they'll uh, like it right there? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good spot too, isn't it? Okay. Let's clean off. This. By yours. Yeah, you're gonna put mine by yours by mine. So I'm gonna clean off a suction cups. This is an iguana lounge, and they absolutely loved this while it was in there. They climbed all over it, um, laid on it, slept on it. They just really, really enjoyed it. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and stick that in this corner here. Yeah, you take it out. I did take it out. Well, we did have to wash it, and then we let it dry. Yep, it needed washed and sanitized too, didn't it? So here's their home. So 
So what Ellie is doing is we took one of our eggshells from the chickens and uh, we dried it off and cleaned it. And Ellie is crushing it up and the crabs will eat it for the calcium. So here are our crabs. Oops. This is Ellie's crab. His name is Pinchy. Mm -hmm. Ellie says because they have pinchers. And then this one is Easton's crab and his name is Orange. I think it's kind of ironic that he's named Orange when Ellie's crab is really the orange one. It's like you can see back in there and see his other little set of legs. But here are their little babies. Well, we're gonna go ahead and uh, fill their little bowl here. We've got some eggshells. We've got a little bit of a lettuce and some blueberries. And then we're also gonna add a couple of crab cakes. Uh, we try to mix up what we put in their little food bowl every so often. That way they're not always eating the same things and they're always getting a uh, variety to their diets. So I'm gonna add in some eggshells here. Okay, Ellie, can you put in a couple crab cakes right here? So here's their little dish, and we're going to go ahead and set that in there and uh, get them back in their home. Okay, now we are going to, now we got all of their home back together. Now we are going to put them back in their home. So here we go. Come here, Orange. You better not pinch me. That hasn't happened yet, but... It's always a phrase that gets said. Hey, I'm gonna put you back in at home. Get a better grip, Ellie. Yeah. Now you can go back in your little cave. So we got our crabs rehomed. We're gonna pop the lid back on it and set them over there on their table. But we just wanted to say, God bless you and i see you next time. Yeah, thanks for joining us today. As always, take care and God, God bless. bless. Now he's checking out the new food in the food bowl. Good day.